Hey guys, it's Tayshawn Miller. And first and foremost, I would like to apologize for the view of this video. I did not realize that my camera was not recording the correct way. So right now I'm just showing you what you need to achieve the fringe jean shorts. You're gonna need tape, you're gonna need scissors, um, something to mark your pants with, and of course the jeans. So right now I'm just starting off where I want them to end meaning lengthwise how how long i want the fringe to be i want it to be like right above my knee so i'm just grabbing my taylor's chalk and i am um marking that area probably gonna have to go over it a few times but nevertheless you should be able to see what it is that you need to see as far as the marking goes Okay, so next you want to grab your tape and you want to start at the inner part of the thigh and you want to angle it going upward. That will give it the look of like a high low fringe. If you were to go straight across, you would still get the fringe, but you won't get the high low look. It'll just be like straight edged if that makes sense. And to me, it just looks more better when it's fringed and the um, fringes start off short and then get longer as they go to the outer part. Next, you want to go ahead and start cutting off where you made the markings for your pants to end. As you can see, I've already previously cut off one side. So now I am just cutting off that second part. Next, you want to go ahead and start adding your fringes. Now, I will say it's easier to cut the seam on the edge first, and then you can go ahead and cut that in half again. I had to learn it the hard way. Um, and again, that tape is there just to let you know how high up to go. So try not to cut the tape or go over um, the tape. Another thing you want to do is make sure that you keep the front and the back of the pants straight. Because if not, you're going to go through what I went through, which was they were moving and um, I had to go and fix some of my fringes because they turned out to be um very crooked and you will see that um, later on in a few minutes you'll see me trying to struggle to correct that but um, another thing I wanted to say while making the fringes is you don't want to do the fringes too small and the reason why is because if you do them really really small when you put them in a the washing machine <coughs> yeah excuse me I'm getting choked up child and I'm not for to record this part over, so I got to cough again. Hold on. <coughs> <coughs> oh, Lord. Excuse me. I'm sorry. My apologies. But, yeah. Um. Oh, wait. Hold on. <clears throat> Y'all, I just finished eating some cereal, so I think the honey smacks is stuck in my throat. I'm not sure. But, um, <clears throat> like I was saying, make sure you don't do your fringes too small because they will tear up and be easy to pop off when you wash them in the washer to make them get frilly. Um, and don't do them too thick because if you do them too thick, eh, you won't get that look. You know what I mean? So you have to make them just right. Y'all remember the, you know, the little story, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. One was too hard, one was too soft, the other one was just right. Well, that's how you have to do these fringes. You can't do them too big. You can't do them too small. They have to be just right. Okay, so now I am here on the other side. As you can see, it's really repetitive. And here's where I started messing up right here. Um, when I realized that the front wasn't proportioned with the back. So I had to go in and try to fix them. I'm sorry, I am covering up. But yeah, I had to fix that. Um, also, I did not know that I think my dress is on the wrong side, y'all. So just act like you don't see that because I'm just noticing it 
with me looking at the video while I do the voice voiceover. But you can see right here why I told you I was messing up. Like all of those in the back, those pieces were not proportioned. So you're going to go through what I went through. So just to avoid that, just make sure every so few cuts that the back is lined up with the front so that everything stays nice and straight. And you don't have to keep going back and forth like I did to fix the pieces that like were um, not well portioned. Once you complete both sides, you want to just go ahead and take your shorts, throw them in the washer, and then in the dryer. That's definitely going to give you that fringe look. And that's it, girl. Let me know in the comment section if you plan on trying out these pants. Let me know if you like my pants. And I will definitely see you guys in my next video. All right, my beautiful gems, that is all I have for you lovely people today. Thumbs up this video for more videos and just let me know if you like the shorts or not. Um, again, let me know if you'll be trying them or not. Um, I really love the way they came out. They were super easy to make, super fun you know you can do some other things um if you guys have any type of video requests please comment below whether it's a tutorial a hair video a diy whatever it is because um i am back to youtube although i am full-time on tiktok i do have a desire to fully come back to youtube so um yeah if you have any questions just let me know and i'll see you good people later bye Number, don't you back, 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 number